Hi everybody, I'm Rachel from Rachel Cooks with Love. Today I'm going to be making some zucchini pancakes. They are so good as a meal or as a side dish. I absolutely love them and I think you're going to love them too. And they're very easy. Let's get started. These are the ingredients that I'm going to be using today to make my zucchini pancakes. I've got three medium-sized zucchini, two medium-sized carrots, two eggs that I'm going to be beating, one cup of Parmesan cheese, half a cup of regular all-purpose flour, I've got one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, a fourth of a cup chopped onions in very little tiny pieces, three green onions that I chopped real fine also, I've got some pepper, some salt, and half a teaspoon of pepper flakes. So I've got my zucchinis here. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just take off the stem off like this, and I'm gonna go ahead and grate them. Now, I could have used my processor, but it's, you know, I just feel like it's not gonna take that long, and then I've gotta wash all the pieces and or put it in the dishwasher, it takes a lot of room. So I thought that my grater would just be the easiest way to go. But if you want to use your processor, you can do that. So I'm going to use this large part. I'm just going to grate them like this really good. The good thing about these uh, zucchini pancakes is that they can be really low carb. Now I have made them where they're low carb before. My Ron didn't like them because he really didn't like the taste of the almond flour that I used in there. Because instead of using flour as a thickening agent, you know, I used almond flour. Then I left out the carrots and I did put the cheese in there. And I made it kind of, you know, low carb, kind of keto-like, you know. And he really didn't like them as much as the ones that I usually make, which are, you know, the ones with the flour and all that. But you can. If you use your almond flour or whichever type of flour that you use, you can use that in place of the flour and you can make them low carb and keto you can use any vegetable that you want you know it doesn't have to be zucchini and carrots I have done them with corn I put green peppers red peppers and I've just made them so many different ways and you can add any type of herb that you want so many different things you know that you can do and they're all delicious you can make a whole meal out of it and just eat them like, you know, your meal. Or you can just have them on the side, you know, if you want to grill or have pork chops or, you know, chicken, whatever you want. They go, it's a fantastic side dish also. So I'm done with my zucchinis. So now I'm going to do the same thing with my carrots. And... That's the last carrot. So now that I have them all grated like that, I'm gonna toss them around. Like this. And you see the zucchini, after you grate your zucchini and your carrots, you know, they have a lot of liquid in there. Now, I've made them before and just left the liquid in there, but I like them a little better when you get some of that liquid out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my ricer, see, just has little holes in there, and I'm going to go ahead and fill it up in there just to get some of the liquid out. Now if you don't have one of these ricers, what you could do is you can just put them in between some paper towels or a thin kitchen towel, and you can just squeeze liquid out. Now as you can see, there's liquid coming out, you see? See, like that. Just do the best you can. It's a little messy, but it's all worth it, believe me. These are super delicious. To get all that liquid out. Otherwise, they'll be a little bit too wet on you. So that's why I like to get the, the liquid out. And here we go. You see? 
Now they're just nice and dry and they don't have that much liquid in them. And it helps giving you a little bit more of a firmer pancake. So since I've made a big mess here, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my mess and start with the next ingredients. So I've got my, myself situated here. So I'm gonna start with the eggs. Now I'm gonna go ahead and, and beat them instead of just dropping them in like that. And once you give it a nice beating like that, I'm gonna go ahead and add my cheese. You can pretty much use any kind of cheese that you like. Now I've done it with cheddar cheese and Kobe Jack, mozzarella, and they're all delicious. So you can use, I like the Parmesan in here. It's a little bit firmer, but you can use any kind of cheese that you like. So here are my onions and my other onions. I'm gonna go ahead and post all the amounts and everything that I did right here at the bottom of the screen. And I'm also gonna put them below on the description box so you'll have all the amounts. Here's my garlic powder, my onion powder. Just gonna put a little bit of salt. Now you can put as much salt as you want. And some pepper, I like a good amount of pepper in there. And here are the pepper flakes and the flour. Then I'm gonna mix it up really well like this. Just to bring it all in together. Now I'm gonna be using my hot griddle over here only because I'm able to put several in there at the same time. But you can do it on the stove top because I have made, probably have made them on the stove, stove top many more times than I have on the electric griddle. So I've got that mixed in here. Just like that. Then you want to mix all this and bring it all in together. See, now it's all mixed in really, really well. Can you see that? So I've got my griddle nice and hot here. I've got it set at 350 degrees. I may adjust it and bring it down. I'm gonna go ahead and use my ice cream scooper. You can just use a regular tablespoon, whatever is easier for you. And this is what I'm gonna be using. So I've got some butter. I'm gonna rub a little bit of butter. And then I'm gonna get one of these scoops like this. And then you can push it down. And they don't have to be perfectly round. Just like that. Now if you need to adjust your heat, you can do that. You don't want them to burn. You just want them to get a nice golden brown. You can either lower the heat or raise it up a little bit more. It just depends, you know, what if you're using an electric griddle or are you using a frying pan or whatever, you know, just as long as it works for you. And you can make them whatever size you like. And I think that's good. So then I like to go around. I like to go around them like this and just kind of bring them in together. Only because I like to do weird things like that. My Ron thinks that I should do things a little bit more, you know, just natural and let it go. But that's the way I am. I'm a little picky and I like to do that, but you don't have to. 
I like to just bring them in and get them a little rounder. Only because I think they look pretty like that. See the sizzle? And you want to keep them here for about four minutes. Just kind of keep an eye on them. Make sure that your heat is not, that it's not too hot because you don't want to burn them. Ooh, and they smell wonderful already. Oh my gosh. I think I can put another little one right there in the, in the corner. So I'm going to try another little one right here. So I'm going to leave them there about four minutes before I flip them over. It's been about four minutes. So I'm going to try and flip them over see they're ready. Ooh, see that pretty color? That's what you want. Just like that. Oh, they smell so delicious. When the cheese starts to sizzle in with them, it gives off such a delicious smell. Really delicious. I'll give that one another minute. So I'm going to go ahead and check this one. It's been about another four minutes. And it's perfectly golden brown from the bottom, as you can see. See? I'm going to get this out and put them on some paper towels, like that. Yep. The, and you know, they're not greasy at all. Mm, look at how pretty they are from the bottom, too. And you know, the good thing about these zucchini pancakes is that they freeze really, really well. You can wrap them individually and put them in the freezer. And then when you want to eat them, you just put them on a cookie sheet, put a piece of parchment paper and put them in the oven for just a few minutes until they're nice and warm and they're perfect again. So it's about four minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and take those out. Put these over here. See? These are nice and hot, so I can put them over here. And here they are. See? Now when we eat these, I like to have them with just sour cream. So I've got some sour cream right here. And I also like ketchup. You can have them with just anything that you want. But that's the way I like them. So I like to get some ketchup like this. And I like to mix it into my sour cream. This way it's not all sour cream, but it's got a little bit of that sweetness of the ketchup. And together, I think it's delicious. See? Just like that. You can add as much as you want, or just have, have it with just plain sour cream. Or you can have them with uh, ranch dressing. I've had them with ranch dressing before, and it's delicious also. I've even had them with mustard. And since I'm not picky, I think it's all good. So, 
here they are. So I like to put some of this right here on the side like that. Mm. Now for the taste test. See, you can just pick them up like this, dip them, just like that. Mm. Oh my gosh. When you make them and taste them, You'll know what I mean when I say you can make a meal out of them. Just all by themselves like that. See? Mmm. You see, they're nice and firm. And just dip them into, into your ketchup like that. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mm, so good. So these are my zucchini pancakes. If you like them, give me a thumbs up. Just go down to where the little thumb is and just tap on that thumb. Let me know that you liked it. Send me a comment. Share with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed, you can press that subscribe button and there's a little bell right there next to it. And if you tap on that bell, you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. And it's free. Thank you.